Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a midwife and lactation consultant. And in this breastfeeding series, I'll be answering the most frequently asked questions around breastfeeding in the first hours, days and weeks. One of the leading causes for mums to stop breastfeeding in the first few days and weeks after birth is sore nipples and or nipple damage. With the research showing between 16 to 79% of mums experience this in the first week. There are two types of nipple pain. One which is pretty typical nipple pain and doesn't usually indicate that there is a problem with how you are feeding your baby and the type of pain that usually does indicate that more specialist breastfeeding support is needed, ideally as soon as possible. Here are some tips to know the difference between the two. I will now give you examples of general normal nipple pain that happens during the first one to two weeks of breastfeeding your baby. When you attach your baby to the breast, there may be some pain at first, but it shouldn't last more than about 30 seconds into the feed. This pain is usually described as mild pain or discomfort, but of course, pain is subjective and every woman experiences it differently. The main thing is the pain should not continue throughout the entire breastfeed and there definitely should be no pain in between feeds. This first type of nipple soreness tends to peak around days three to five and should start getting better from day seven with no further pain after two weeks. You should not see any skin damage on your nipple. So that means no cracks, blisters or bleeding and your nipple should not look flattened creased or pinched, i.e. not like the shape of a brand new lipstick. Nipple pain that indicates there is likely a problem and it's important for you to seek help from a breastfeeding specialist is pain that is described as intense or excruciating. Pain that continues throughout the entire feeding. Pain when you're not breastfeeding pain that continues past the first couple of weeks and or damage to the nipple such as cracks, blisters or bleeding. So why do sore nipples occur? The most common reason that soreness or damage occurs to the nipple is how a baby latches on at the breast. If your baby doesn't take in enough of the nipple and breast into their mouth, your nipple may rub on the front part of their mouth, the hard palate. This can be painful for you because it causes misshaping and pinching of your nipple. But it can also mean that your baby is not able to get enough milk to flow out of your breast. This understandably can lead to a very difficult situation where a baby is unable to drink enough milk to satisfy them so they're hungry more frequently but your nipples feel so sore that the thought of more frequent feeds can be quite distressing. This is why it's important to seek support as quickly as possible from someone who is well skilled in breastfeeding and lactation support. There are some other reasons mums might experience sore nipples. Engorgement, tongue tie, flat or inverted nipples, thrush, mastitis, or even something called vasospasm. Your healthcare provider will advise you on this further. So what can you do to help heal your nipples and stop the pain? Seek support. The sooner you get someone to look at you and your baby feeding, the sooner they can offer advice, which can hopefully lead to more confident and pain-free breastfeeding. Try not to leave it until the last minute to get support. Breastfeeding support can be found both online or in person, depending on where you live. You can Google lactation consultant in my area or breastfeeding support in my area to get a list of help close by.
you might want to try different feeding positions. There are several positions to feed a baby in and not every position will feel comfortable for you or your baby. So trying out a few different breastfeeding holds is a good idea to help you and your baby feel relaxed and happy. Also holding your baby in a different position can oftentimes help with improving and deepening their latch at the breast. Here are just some of the positions you might want to try. Laid back breastfeeding or also known as biological nurturing when you would lay yourself back in this relaxed position and your baby will actually find the breast themselves. We will support the baby behind the shoulders and their bottom. You might also like to try something called the underarm feeding style, or you might have heard it called the football style. And this is where the baby is coming from underneath and from the side. Another position has a cute name known as the koala hold. And this is when your baby is in a more upright position, sitting like this, again, supported behind their shoulders so that they can attach onto the breast. And of course, there is the classic cradle hold as well. You will also want to check that your baby is not just nipple feeding. Babies need to take in not only the nipple, but some of the underneath part of the areola, the pink or the brown skin around your nipple. You can express some of your breast milk onto the nipple and rub it in gently after feeds and use some nipple cream like Purelan on the nipple after feeds as well. You might want to protect your nipples from contact or rubbing with clothing. Nipple protection shells can be helpful as they form a barrier between your nipple and your bra whilst your nipple is healing. You may be advised by your healthcare professional to rest your nipples to allow them to heal. If this is the case, it is advised that you maintain your milk supply by pumping. Mimicking the minimum number of feeding sessions a healthy full-term baby would be having is important to ensure you keep making enough milk. The magic number of pumping sessions is eight in 24 hours. If you have access to a double pump, pumping both breasts at the same time will help you pump in half the time, for example, about 15 minutes. And double pumping also leads to an extra letdown, enabling up to 18% more milk to be expressed. You may be advised by your healthcare professional to use a nipple shield, something like this, as this may help protect cracked nipples during breastfeeding and may enable breastfeeding when latching on is difficult, painful, or if you have flat or inverted nipples. If you are using a nipple shield or expressing and resting your breasts whilst your nipples are healing, make sure that you keep in regular contact with your breastfeeding specialist. It is important that you have ongoing support and help to get your baby back on the breast as soon as your nipples are feeling better and you are feeling ready. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips and support for your breastfeeding journey.